I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video to find distance from a point to the plane. The question here is determine the shortest distance between each point and the given plane. Part A we have a point 1 2 0 and the equation of plane is 2x minus 3y plus z plus 4 equals to 0. The second one is point is minus 5 0 1 and the equation of the plane is x plus 2y plus 6z minus 10 equals to 0. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in the books we are having two ways of finding distance from a point to a plane. One of the methods is that the distance d is equals to an absolute value of pq dot n where n is the normal to the plane divided by the magnitude of n. So that gives you one way to find the distance of a point from the plane. <coughs> Basically if you see n divided by n is a unit vector so, so this equation could also be treated as pq dot unit vector n, right? As this ratio is the unit vector along the direction of the normal for the plane. Now, that is actually the definition how you get the plane also. And we also have a formula which uh, many of the students will be using. And that is much simpler to use, especially when you are given equation of the plane in this form, right? The Cartesian of the scalar form. And that is, you will always find the unit vector kind of, I mean, this as a denominator, which is, uh, <coughs> let me write down the... <coughs> <coughs> So, so this formula, uh, let me write down general equation of the plane, which is, let's say, ax plus by plus c, z plus d equals to 0. And let me write point P as x0, y0, z0, right? So a distance from this point to this plane could be written as, substitute this value in the formula, which is, ax0 plus by0 plus c z0 plus d, right? And then divide by the normal, which is a square plus b square plus c square, the magnitude of normal, right? So that's another formula which can be applied to find distance. I'm sharing this with you because at different stages, you may be asked this problem. Right, so that is how you should be doing it. Now another important thing which I want to tell you here is that the first point here may, you know, the point may lie on the plane and that's the reason why I've given you this A. So if I substitute the point here, that is to say, if I write x as 1, y as 2, 0 as z, what do I get? I get 2 times 1 minus 3 times 2 plus z which is 0 plus 4 and that is equal to 2 minus 6 plus 4 indeed it is equal to 0. So this point satisfies the equation of the plane that means the point is on the plane and therefore here in this case distance equals to zero since the point is on the plane so the idea of sharing all this with you is that even before getting into all these calculations in the test it's a good idea to check if the point is on the plane or not right that kind of helps us since you have calculators and it's a very easy calculation right so so the next one here is x plus 2y plus 6z minus 10 equals to 0. We can substitute this point. So we get, if I substitute this point, I get 
x is minus 5, let me write minus 5 plus 0 plus 6 minus 10, right? And then let's find what this is. Minus 5 plus 6 is 1 and take away from 10 is minus 9. Now this is not equal to 0, right? So this point is outside the plane, correct? So it will have some distance from the plane. So we'll apply the formula whichever required and then get the answer. But the idea is always test if the point is on the plane or not. It really helps if you are doing some multiple choice questions. Correct? Now, this formula takes some time to solve, but this is a direct formula to apply. So we should apply this in most of the cases. Right. So we are now finding we know the distance for A is zero and let's find for B. So we already substituted this value, we got that, but anyway, let's rewrite. So we'll write this as A is 1 for us, substituting the points, so we get minus 5 plus 2 times 0 minus 6 times 1 minus 10. So that we get the numerator part divided by square root of the normal vector, which is 1 square plus 2 square plus 6 square square root right and that gives you we calculate the numerator as minus 9 over we can use the calculator to find the denominator which is square root of 1 plus 2 square plus 6 square equals 2 which is square root of 41 right now, since always distances are positive, you have to do like this, correct? Absolute value, right? So that becomes your answer in decimals if you really want to write. Will be 9 divided by square root 41, right? In decimals, it could be equals to approximately 1.4, right? So you could answer like this also, right? So, I'll suggest apply the formula and do it. And let me also give you the foundation for this formula. This formula really talks about a plane, which is, let us say, kind of like this. And uh, let's say we have a point here. So, distance is always the shortest distance which we are talking about will be normal along the normal to the plane right so that is the whole idea so distance is along the normal so this line which is which is perpendicular to the plane will give you the distance d right but it is very difficult to find the foot of this perpendicular so what we do is we take up any other point and we call that point as q and this point is <coughs> P given to us, right? So we just take convenient point P, uh, Q on the plane and actually find PQ, which is this, PQ. Dot product tells us there's a component along this direction. Do you see that? So in this triangle, in this triangle, if that is the angle theta, then the dot component is the cosine cos theta, which is along this direction right that gives you the component of pq along this direction gives you the distance and that is how it works correct so this is a good formula to apply and q should be selected as a convenient point for example in this particular case let me redo this in this particular case q should be selected as you can say y and z is zero so what is x x is 10 so we can say q is 10, 0, 0, right? So you could select Q as a very convenient point, placing zeros for Y and Z. X is 10. Once you know that, then you can apply this formula and check the distance, right? So I think it helps to understand when to apply this, which formula. And even before applying a formula, we should actually check whether the point is on the plane or not. Now, if you're using this formula, then um, check is not required because you'll get zero in the numerator and you'll know that the point is on the plane. 
but in case you're applying that formula it helps so so it's a word of caution i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best